What up crew? Today we're gonna make a lamp stand with a Shoshugi Bond finish. Let's check it out. So with this project, I'm basically using all the scraps that I had in my shed. I had a short 4x4 and four other pieces of just 1x3s. I had also just got back from the Imperial War Museum in London where they had a huge exhibition on World War I, and I thought it would be interesting to incorporate a gnarly barbed wire kind of look to the piece. So I rounded off the hard edges and sanded it a little bit, and then pre-drilled some holes and put some screws in to make the legs look like the 4x4 is floating in the air. I didn't want it to look too pointy, so now I'm going to mark off the ends of this where I'm going to cut it off and make it flush. Since I'm trying to go for a beat up and kind of battered feel, I don't need things to be super accurate, which is just a fancy excuse of me not having a lot of tools or straight lines. I liked the look that the router gave, so I cut all the legs off, made them flush at the bottom, and repeated that fillet four times. Because these legs are a little wobbly, I'm just going to secure it with another screw. Alright, so it looks really nice like this, and most people would recommend that I just stop here but I just can't help myself. <laughs> War is not pretty or smooth or sleek looking, and to reflect that, we gotta rough things up. Now it's time to burn. Now even though we're going for a destructive kind of look, this is actually giving the piece a protective outer layer. The practice of yakisugi, also known as shoshugiban, originated in Japan and was mainly used on cedar boards. Charring the wood makes it last about a hundred years longer, plus brings out some real interesting textures. It's also a ton of fun, and the neighbors don't think you know how to start a fire pit. I've used this on other projects in the past, and holds up really well in tough environments. There's a couple different ways to do it, from lightly burning to deep charring. I don't want to go for the burnt alligator skin look, but rather a softer burn, really to make the grain of the wood shine through. Now, I'm no master of this next part. For that, you should go check out my buddy at Johnny Builds. He has a great video on how to stain with color. But I figure I should get into the spirit of things and take all the help I can get. First, we're gonna sand off just some of the loose bits and a little bit of that extra char. 
I don't want to take off too much, so I'm just using 80 grit sandpaper. And now just cleaning things up with a cloth. Finally, the wax on, wax off magic of teak oil. As with every Maker YouTube video, you gotta show this money shot, and it makes the wood last for about another 10 years longer. And lastly, we'll make and attach the lamp to the rest of the stand. Again, keeping with the rough look theme, I decided to also keep the tools consistent. I know there's a better way to do this, but you gotta keep with what's the most fun. And whatever's the dirtiest and noisiest. And yes, if you're wondering, these lampshades are from one of my earlier videos starring the Skip Bandit. We haven't seen him in a while, but I think he'll be coming back soon. Now, of course, zip ties to finish it off, and some Zen water shots to balance everything out in harmony. Well, I hope you like this, and in the next couple weeks, I've got some more projects where we're going to kind of destroy and get some things ready for Halloween. And if you don't like this, don't worry, because I'm going to be putting it over in the corner, and you're never going to have to see it ever again. And now, time for a quote. Quote.